Okay, we've got an interesting yeah. problem here. We found a, we've got a car where this fuse right here, it goes to all of the uh, interior lights in the vehicle. You see this, this relay right here? Focus on that. This is, this is the park lamp control relay that turns on all the interior lights in the vehicle and the park lamps. This fuse keeps blowing. So what they did is they pulled that fuse out and placed a circuit breaker in place of it. And the circuit breaker keeps clicking, so we know that there's a short that's occurring downstream from this fuse. It could be anywhere between this fuse and the light bulbs that it eventually leads to down here. Now the problem is that it branches off. At, at this point, it branches off into three branches. It goes to the relay coil, it goes to the relay switch, and it comes over here to the headlamp switch and then feeds feeds uh, this module here. So, so we have to decide which of these three wires the problem is in. And then, if it turns out that it's in this circuit right here, it comes down and splits up into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different circuits. And each of these split into two more circuits. So this could be a real challenge figuring out which circuit has the short. However, what they decided to do was to turn this fuse and relay box upside down. So I flipped it over, and we get access to all of these wires, and we place an amp clamp around one of these wires, and they'll do this one at a time, place, place an amp clamp around each wire, and then monitor the current on the, on the lab scope while they turn on the circuit. And then when they hear this, the circuit breaker click, they're watching for which wire has a lot of current going through it. So they've gone all the way through these wires, and they ended up with this one right here, and currently, got the amp clamp right there. It's around that brown wire, if you can see it. See that down there? So back to the diagram. The current probe or the amp clamp is around the brown wire. And so far they've seen nothing on the amp clamp. But this time, we'll go ahead and turn the circuit on. You can hear, their, hear the circuit breaker clicking that they've placed in here. It's a 15 amp circuit breaker to replace the 15 amp fuse. And if we come over to the screen, every time that circuit breaker clicks on, it's going up to 15 amps and then shutting off again. So that was how, that was how we quickly narrowed down the short to find out which circuit this was in.